Yo, welcome back to my first playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2 on Xbox One. This is a mission with Josiah Trelawney and it's called A Fine Night of Deportry. I think we're trying to rob a boat on this mission. So I remember them talking about it when we went to the uh, mayor's party. So we're probably going to have to dress really funny. Dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice. Hmm, this will be fun. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault, his grandfather. That's hilarious. I like that outfit, though. It's cool. A very good choice, sir. Profile. The heavy brow. Oh, there is no other pages, it's just that one. Come on, let's get you to the barber. We look very spiffing. Been to the barber already, as you can tell. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet I hope it's blackjack because I'm not good at poker. You win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Here's as short as it can be. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation. Oh, nice. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you from Toad. Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't ham. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Fly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, 
How does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. I hate poker. I hope it's blackjack. But now my luck is poker. Remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. Oh, it's bloody poker. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Damn, man. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. I wanted it to be blackjack. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Why is he saying no? Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Does he mean fold? Preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> there, see? That's how you raise. Easy as that. Right. Oh, I'm in. Call. How did like I said, Mr. Callahan. I think this is I should have folded. Oh. I'll call. How did I end up at this table? I'd have more fun throwing my money overboard. I'm pretty sure he means fold, but let's just check. You know what? Call. Yes, call. Okay, sorry boys, I'm taking it all. We'll see about that. Holy shit. Call, what the hell? Here we go then. Fuck. Well, hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Oh, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. 
Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. He just won so much money. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Oh, hell yeah. Guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. Oh, this guy's crazy. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Hair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Oh, it's Javier. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You know they wouldn't have employed a Mexican, though, back in these days. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> See? We live in strange times. Perfect example there. I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. <laughs> I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. He... You were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> he told you his name. Idiot, huh? What the hell? Oh, shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Shot him in the hand. 
Not the head. View in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Can we not loot the uh For luck. You can't loot anything else. It's a shame. You know shit's gonna go tits up, you know it. Is that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Yeah, how the hell would we get out of here in these days? You're never getting a boat fast enough to escape all these guards. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Not no good, Chief, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Here we go. about the money this is the most stupidest idea ever this is the most stupidest idea ever they wouldn't even have a plastic bag like to keep the money sealed and dry well never a dull moment yeah that's one way of putting it so how much did we get a few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Well, that's a pretty cool mission. Can't believe I fucked up, though, at that... Uh, Bit where the guy had another gun on him, just froze up. So I was thinking about the noise, you know, and then I was thinking, should I disarm him or kill him? I wasn't sure by shooting him in the hand or the head. <laughs> Rob, so let's look at the details win the game of poker without Strauss's help. Oh, I don't think I'll ever get that. I'm no good at poker. After your coverage is blown, escape in 35 seconds. Five headshots, complete the mission without taking any health items. I didn't take any health items, I don't think. Anyway, but that was my first playthrough, so it doesn't matter. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that mission. If not, go fuck yourself. Otherwise, see you in my next video.
Okay, girl. 